Hi, this is Peter from Anatomy Zone and in this video we will take a look at the anatomy of the deltoid muscle. The deltoid muscle is the large superficial muscle of the shoulder which gives its characteristic shape and contour. It's called the deltoid muscle because of its roughly triangular shape which resembles the Greek capital letter delta. Let's take a look at the origins of the deltoid muscle. Anteriorly, it originates from the superior aspect of the lateral third of the clavicle. Laterally, it originates from the lateral margin and superior part of the acromion process of the scapula. Posteriorly, it originates from the inferior edge of the spine of the scapula. The deltoid muscle is divided into three distinct sets of fibres on the basis of these three origins that I've just described. The anterior or clavicular fibres, the lateral or acromial fibres, and the posterior or spinal fibres. These different fibres of the deltoid are often referred to in strength training and bodybuilding circles whereby different exercises are utilised to target the different fibres of the deltoid. In this way, they are referred to as the anterior, lateral and posterior deltoids, or delts. The fibres of the deltoid muscle converge to form a short tendon, which inserts onto the deltoid tubercle, or deltoid tuberosity, on the lateral aspect of the humerus. The morphology of the deltoid muscle with its three sets of fibres extending from anterior to posterior around the glenohumeral joint mean that this muscle can produce several movements depending on whether the fibres contract independently or simultaneously. As you may expect from its origin, the anterior fibres draw the arm forwards to flex the shoulder. and they can also medially rotate the humerus. The posterior fibres do the opposite. They extend the shoulder and cause lateral rotation or external rotation of the humerus. The posterior fibres act synergistically with the trapezius and teres major muscles. The lateral fibres arising from the acromion are powerful abductors of the shoulder and are assisted by the supraspinatus of the rotator cuff in this movement. The deltoid muscle receives its arterial supply via the acromial and deltoid branches of the thoracoacromial artery and the anterior and posterior circumflex humeral arteries. It also receives supply from the subscapular artery and the deltoid branch of the profunda brachii. It is innervated by the axillary nerve, which arrives from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. So that's the anatomy of the deltoid muscle. If you have found this video useful, click like below and subscribe to Anatomy Zone for more videos. Thank you for watching. The 3D models used in this tutorial were powered by the excellent and free anatomy learning app. Check it out for yourself.